You faintly hear. Yep. Exit. Great. Oh. You've managed to find Dr. Cranium's <laughs> keyhole and open the door. You pass through into Dr. Cranium's Is private it remembered laboratory. Remember that we've solved that puzzle already. <laughs> oh. Quickly, Igor, the fluid. I must have the fluid. Oh, excuse me. I thought it was Igor coming in to assist me. He helps out in the lab sometimes. Now then, what can I do for you? Tell me why you have a jamming theme song in your lab. Dr. Cranium likes to stay ahead of his competitors. Glass globes of unknown intent hang in nets from the ceiling. A contraption looking nothing quite so much as a giant ray gun points towards the operating table. Now wait just a second. There's no such thing as a ray gun in Mordavia, is there? Is there? You are in an incredibly cluttered <laughs> laboratory. Flasks, vials, jars, and tubing cover every surface. Experiments are in progress everywhere. It looks like a giant boiler. The chain attached to it looks like, like it activates some sort of release valve. It's probably fine. Um, hello. Uh, name. My name is Dr. Cranium. I am Mordavia's chief scientist and a certified genius. Some call me mad, but I much prefer Dr. Cranium. Ah, yes, science. I'm glad you asked. Science is the process of systematically increasing our knowledge of the world through observation and experiment. Unfortunately, some of the townspeople here seem to have no concept of the wonders of science. Some of them even claim my little inventions are magical. Such poppycock! There's no such thing as magic. Still, the townspeople insisted that I should be able to use my magic to cure wounds and sickness. I told them that I am a scientist, not a doctor, but they wouldn't listen. I had little choice but to concoct some simple elixirs. They were childishly pleased. Science is really so simple once you understand it. I, I, I would be pleased. Oh. Oh, you must mean my patented healing drink. You may have my last one. Thank you. Unfortunately, I have forgotten the formula for its main ingredient. If you can help me remember it, I will be able to make some more healing drinks. Although the work is very time consuming. Oxypil? Nitrogen? Oxygen? Um, hmm. We have Earth. We have all the Captain Planet elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, and pizza. So. Oh, duh. Um, oh, this is not a puzzle, this is copy protection. Oh. Um. That could be a problem. That's what I'm looking for. Hold on. That's where I'm looking. Problem is, this apparently came with three manuals, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, I see it. I was wondering what these were. 
All right, I got it. I got the solution. I know the formula. Wind, fire, earth, wind, wind, earth, earth. <laughs> I wish pizza was Thank in it. You. With that information, I'm sure I shall be able to create some sensational scientific solutions. All right. Cool, we did it. I do want some poison cure, oh, too. Oh, you must mean my new universal poison antidote. You may have this one, but I will need some help with the formula to make more. Again. Also, I am afraid I only have time to make one each day. Oh. Gargoyle. <laughs> I started watching gargoyles the other day, actually. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Yeah, that is kind of neat. I want the pizza water water. I went to wait for the animation. <laughs> pizza water water earth. Earth. Thank you. With that information, I'm sure I shall be able to create some sensational scientific solutions. I mean, sure, if, if it's free. If you want to improve your stamina, then you should make sure you eat a healthy diet from all the different food groups and get plenty of aerobic exercise. That is science. That's my science. We didn't have the channel that it came on. I never got to watch it. But now it's on Disney whatever plus. Empty facts, You asked Dr. Cranium. If he can spare an empty flask for specimen collection. Of course, of course. <laughs> I am always delighted to assist scientific research of any kind. And I have plenty of flasks. You may have this one. Thank you. Experiments are the meat and drink of science. First, you must come up with a hypothesis based on your understanding of the scientific elements. Then perform an experiment to test the hypothesis. Afterwards, you have a pizza. I like science. Pizza is a crucial ingredient in many scientific formulae. There is a nearly infinite variation in its effects, depending on whether one starts with pepperoni, mushrooms, artichokes, or plain cheese. One should always order extra pizza in case the experiment requires additional materials. Besides, science is hungry work. Earth is for solidity and stability. Air gives freedom and movement. Fire provides power and energy. Water, fluidity and life. Pizza, of course, is the most important element of all. Pizza represents the essence of well-roundedness and regaining strength. Most importantly, you can have it delivered in under half an hour in most areas. I know, right? Sound. Sound science here. A hypothesis is a scientific guess. One predicts the result of an operation, performs an experiment to test the prediction, then has a pizza to celebrate the result. It is very <laughs> important to stay flexible, however. Sometimes the experiment may give a different result than predicted by the hypothesis. Since oh, real scientists so don't like to make mistakes, we always write the hypothesis in pencil. Ah, uh, well, I have a pen and a pencil, but I've been taking notes in pen, so... Something else. Uh, I guess... Something else? Oh yeah, okay, so that was science. How about Igor? Igor is the grave digger and tombstone carver. Uh, business has been slow lately, perhaps because there are very few people left in town. So Igor sometimes comes in to help me with my work. Igor has had less work of late. The forest is just as dangerous, but there aren't very many people left in town who are stupid enough to go out there at night, you know. <laughs> I like to think of it as a sort of evolution in action. Yeah, oh, me too. I was going to say the same thing that you said. Igor is carving out quite a niche for himself in the gravestone business. You might say he is well on his way to becoming a rock star. <laughs> then again, you might not. Uh, 
Uh, the cemetery. The cemetery is outside of town to the east. It has proven a fruitful source of materials for my experiments. There are also some interesting and cryptic puzzles to be solved there. What? Solve what? How about... Oh, the fluid. Uh... Oh, so many questions. Magic. There is, of course, no such thing as magic. There is only science. Still, you would be amazed at how gullible some people are. Just the other day, someone gave me this scroll saying it was a magical spell. Can you believe that? I bet that? you don't need that. It's trash, it probably. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Cock. Nothing on here makes any sense whatsoever. Here, you may have this as a reminder that magic is a figment of fevered imagination. A spell? Only science is real. Obviously, Dr. Cranium needs to take a correspondence course from Ooh. the famous wizard school. As you read the scroll, you find that you have learned the incantations and gestures with which to cast a glide spell. Then the scroll vanishes. There, you see, it was not even a very good piece of parchment. Fell right apart. Uh, sweet. Oh, we can glide now. That's awesome. Okay. Um, how about... The fluid. Essential etheric fluid is an important ingredient in my formula for reanimating dead bodies. It contains the essence of the element of water, the most important ingredient in life science. Stay hydrated. This laboratory is where I perform some of my most important research. Lately, I have been trying to bring life back to a dead body and to brew the perfect cup of tea. So many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Reanimating the dead is just another day's work in the life of a scientist. Even science cannot bring a person back right the way they were, but one can use scientific principles to restore the semblance of life and energy to formerly dead flesh. Sure. Science. The one alchemical combination that I have thus far been unable to fully analyze is that of a good cup of tea. I'm sure there must be a way to duplicate the effects of nature, but the results have not been promising so far. Perhaps you would like a cup of spearmint and beefsteak tea? Eh, I thought not. This is even harder than rehydration solution and reviving dead tissue. Research is the heart and soul of science. Without constant experimentation to prove or disprove one's hypotheses, the scientist is left trying to solve the world's problems by guesswork. That is hardly the most efficient way to achieve results. I try to maintain a modest selection of useful experimental equipment in my simple laboratory. Mm -hmm, Unfortunately, it has become very difficult to obtain the most modern scientific accessories since the road out of the valley became closed by the swamp. Okay, so we haven't asked about mad scientists. Mad? Mad? They all call me mad, but what do they know of madness? I am not mad. A bit perturbed about the world situation and how I get so little respect, perhaps, but certainly not mad. No, no. Surely not. Okay. Ooh, flask. Um, how are we doing carrying weight-wise? Healing potion, uh, just another of the wonders science has brought to modern medicine. It's undoubtedly magical, but it would probably be best if you didn't mention that to Dr. Cranium. Poison antidote could save your life. Storing liquids and powders. Do we just need the one? Hands off, dick! Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Ah, uh, uh, I... You ask Dr. Cranium if he can spare an empty flask for specimen collection. Of course! Of... Now we have two, just in case. 
Thank you. Even mad scientists' labs need fireplaces to keep warm in this climate. What if I pull... Alright, we're gonna save before I pull anything. <laughs> You try a couple of quick pulls on the chain. You're not at all sure what you've started, but it's definitely enough to make you nervous. Sure, okay. Started something. Science. A mysterious device begins to emit an ominous hum as you reach towards it. Be careful there. That device is only for use by trained scientists. Who knows what disaster might ensue should it ever be operated by a fumble-fingered amateur such as yourself? Besides, it is so much more fun when I do it. Fair. Fair. No, you don't really need glasses or glass globes. It doesn't bug. Okay, I guess that's probably it for in you are here in for an now. incredibly cluttered laboratory. What about this? Dr. Person? Cranium has an orderly personality, so he likes to arrange things in tables. <laughs> wow. Better table that idea for now. So terrible. Like, I don't know if he's actually laughing. Come back and visit <sighs> again. All right. Oh, and if you see Igor, please tell him I still need the fluid. Oh, tell Igor. What time is it? Oh, I don't know if he'll be out. I guess we go ahead and head back at the inn. Oh, is it closed? Open the door. The door is locked and probably barred as well. It's not after dark yet. You hear movement on the other side of the door. It's after a few customer. minutes, you hear someone removing the bar and unlocking the bolts on the other side of the door. Thank you. Sorry. Uh... Making garlic. Have a seat. Wait, no, better leave the seats here. Well, why don't you sit down on one? This show can't get on the road until you get off your load. So sit a while and enjoy yourself. Or maybe just sit. This guy's gonna be fine. I will sit. Good evening, ladies and germs. A funny thing happened on the way to Mordavia. I got here. I walked up to the innkeeper here and says to the guy, Do you know how lucky you are to have such a funny guy as myself staying here? The innkeeper says no, but if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. You may as well laugh now, this act doesn't get any funnier. I sit down here for a meal and order some soup. When the waiter brings it in, I says, Wait up, there's a fly in my soup. The waiter says, Of course, that's the soup du jour. Am I going deaf in here? Or how can so many people sleep with all these lights on? Seriously, folks, I went to the doctor just the other day and he said he had some good news and some bad news. What's the good news, I asked? You only have three months to live, said the doc. That's terrible. What's the bad news? I said. The doc replied, I'm getting married. I know I had an audience when I came in here. Anyhow, show me a guy with a million kopecks, and I'll show you a guy who's rich. Hey, you only had to listen to this material. I'm the one who had to stand here and take it. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been a swell bunch of seats. Whew. The gnome has stopped speaking. Maybe he's finished telling his joke. You think about applauding, but you're not quite sure if you've heard the punchline yet. 
What did you think of my performance? Was I hilarious or what? So funny. Is this an inn or a cemetery? I've had livelier times at funerals. Some help you were. Uh, couldn't you at least have smiled a little louder? It's nights like these that make me feel like an inept idiot and a lousy laughing stock. I'd make more money digging graves. But why? And get out of show business. Huh. How about some food? Food? You are all. He too is a stranger to Mordavia. Oh. Hey, what am I, shredded wheat? If you're talking behind my back, at least have the courtesy to do it face to face. I tried to... So how come you weren't up on the stage instead of me? I have not listened to such nonsense in all my life. You call this a life? I guess we're not getting dinner tonight. Hey, buddies. Well, you know, I'm not a census taker over here, but there are no other gnomes in Mordavia. No wonder. Yeah, when they show up, there goes the neighborhood. We have no need for gnomes here. Rude. You guys are so narrow-minded, you could all look through a keyhole with both eyes. What no would want to work here? You guys have all the sense of humor of a wyvern with a hangover. At the risk of waxing poetic, what need have we of fools? Hey, you got a point. There are enough fools in here already to reach critical mass. If it pays to be ignorant, why are you guys so broke? Hey. Somebody just shoot me. And just when I was gonna invite you to my party, there's always room for one boar. Oh, I'll tell you, he's rough, you know? Anyone could tell better jokes than that gnome did. Where's Shaky Green when you need him? Look, I'd argue with you, but I never engage in a battle of wits with an unarmed man. The guy's dying up there. I didn't get anything. Hey, how could you? If ignorance is really bliss, you're the world's happiest guy. Well, I got over to... Fellas, is it just me or is uh, Shecky's performance here lacking a certain sense of humor? Are you kidding? He was rough. Get a day job. You're right, and he wasn't very funny either. What do you mean I wasn't funny? You guys wouldn't know a punchline if it hit you in the face. I mean, it wasn't very funny, but... You know. How are you, sir? No, no, no. Be they ever so humble, there's nobody stays home. I've been on the road so long, I have flat tires on my feet. I go wherever I can tell a good joke, and many places where I can't. I'm staying at this inn for a while until I find something here. I got the last door down the hall. Visit me sometime. I'm sure we can have a few laughs together. Hey, my last tour was a great success. I outran everyone. But there's no business like show business. With me, the show must go on and on and on. Yeah. I got millions of them. Problem is, I can't remember most of them. And the ones I do remember should have been buried long ago. I used to be worth my wit in gold, but, oh, it's a long story. Ask me about it some other time. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> that was an exhausting interaction, Unlock the door Mr. Gnome. To your room. Light up. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> let's drop off some stuff. I don't know how much we actually have in our pockets weight wise, but I'm gonna drop off one of our flasks or both, possibly. You. No, one. Okay. Drop off this cloth. I feel like I'm gonna regret this at some you point. You put it in the chest. <laughs> we unsub from the gnome. <laughs> uh.
put it where? Tree. You put it in the chest. People go where? I'm liking, aside from <laughs> the terrible jokes just now, uh, I'm liking it a lot. It's got a cool vibe and there seems to be like a lot to do. Uh, hold on to that. Remember how to tell how much weight we have. Uh, how much is in our bag? Well, either way, I think we're doing okay. Oh, it's not nighttime yet, really. It was so close. After some. Sleep until morning. In your sleep, you seem to hear voices. Do you see him? Yes, he is sleeping. Most likely in the inn, although it is hard to focus the vision enough to tell. I do not understand why you did not just capture him in the first place. The charades you play are foolish. Silence! To serve us, it will be for the best if he acts under his own free will. Why make an enemy out of a willing tool? Oh, but I forget. He is already your enemy. This is not someone to play games with, I say. If he finds out what is going on, he will never cooperate. Besides, you risk his death. Mordavia is a very dangerous place. I think he is quite capable of taking care of himself. Besides, I have ways of making him cooperate. As you well know, I will use them only if I must. The voices fade off into oblivion. Hmm. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Mysterious. Here's breakfast. Good way to start the day. Nothing like a good breakfast to get you off to a good start in the morning, especially when everything's laced with garlic. Especially. <laughs> uh, rumors? I do not. Okay. See you later. Actually, ugh. Ugh. Let's see if our maybe friend is here still. voice from behind the door says, Oops, sorry. Seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope it wasn't too shocking for you. Ha ha ha. actually took help. Hello, Drew smiley faces on all the garlic. Step, why don't you? No, whoopee cushion. As oh. you sit down, yeah. a rude noise comes from the chair seat. <laughs> Gets you every time. A million laughs. How are you? Good to see you. Nice see you to drop in. Speaking of dropping in, did you hear the one about the bad waiter? Seems like he was always dropping in. Dropping in. Get it? Didn't think so. No one got a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> Not even me. Okay. Goodness, you talk a lot. <laughs> It's a braided, circular rug, just like the one in your room, only funnier. Oh, so much funnier. It's a smiley face. Somehow just looking at these garlic braids makes you smile. It makes the perfect cap to the gnome's jester costume. There's a nightstand by the bed with a single drawer. The strange comedian you had the misfortune to listen to the other night sits on the bed. He looks at you with a twisted grin. Yeah, what are you doing here? With these rubber chickens? The chicken seems to be made out of rubber. What's rubber, you ask? 
you also consider how it would taste cooked in garlic. Ask about Ugh, nothing humor. I ain't got no sense of humor. I can't get no sense of humor, and I try. Don't know why. What's the matter? You a music critic? So I can't tell a joke. Sue me. I'm comedically challenged. A feeb of a fool. A dweeb dunce. As a matter of fact, I've been cursed. I'm vexed with a hex, so to speak. Oh. Pathetic, ain't it? I can't tell a joke if it kicked me in the teeth. Ever since I got Baba Yaga mad at me, I got the bad joke blues. Ah, <gasps> uh, Baba Yaga got you. She has no sense of humor whatsoever. Let me tell you, I was just telling the joke about how some hero got Baba Baby hopping mad and fit to be towed. How was I to know she was in the audience at the time? Anyhow, Baba Yaga stands up, says some bad poetry, and the next thing I know is my jokes are jumbled and my puns are pathetic. So here I am in Nowhere Land trying to locate Baba Yaga so as I can get the curse removed and my humor returned. Uh, something else. Putin Kane, ask me again, I'll tell you my name. Seriously, folks, the name is Bones. Punny Bones. I'm just a jester. Professionally speaking, of course. Hey, I'm a professional fool, so don't try this at home, kid. Unfortunately, more people laugh at me than at my jokes lately. It's hard to be hilarious when your sense of humor is defunct. Punny, you should ask about that. Making jokes is in my bones. Make no bones about it. But my puns have been sort of boneheaded lately. All right, how about more Davia? This is really Why dead, are you, you here? Know? I've oh, had a looking for Bobby Argyle. In a graveyard. What do they know about humor? They think a guy falling into a mud puddle is a major joke, like lots of yucks. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now, a man being tripped into a mud puddle. That's comedy. So, but Baba Yaga was in the first one. Did she just fly away? The house? <laughs> I don't remember. What do I hear? Let me see. Well, the talk of the town is you. No one knows how you got here or what are you doing. And they're still all a bit leery of strangers. You should see some of the looks they give me. You'd think they never saw a gnome before. Or you, for that matter. All right, well, good talk. Hey, you can get in big trouble messing in a gnome's drawers. So I ask step you, on out. call a dinosaur crashing into a wall? Late for supper, of course. <laughs> See you later, crocodile. Was our speed already that high, or did it change? <laughs> really want to leave. Oh, hey. Look, he is safely locked away. We should wait a bit to see if the grave digger shows up. Well, there you go. Igor's missing. That ties it. The little weasel never goes anywhere for crying out loud. Yeah, except when he's with that wacko, crazy, cuckoo doctor. Why else would that gypsy be so darn close to town? He got a taste for meat. It was a full moon outside last night, I'm telling ya. Yeah, somebody's going to jail. Justice must be served, even for that little grave digger. Justice? We don't even know if a crime has really been committed. Just relax, go home or to the inn. The gypsy goes nowhere. We can decide what to do later. But we... Later, go home. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm supposed to tell Igor about the fluid. Hold it, Slick. Don't you know what a werewolf is? A man who turns into a wolf. Yeah, when he's sunbathing at night, you know? It's the full moon that does it. Listen, the werewolf eats children, which don't make him all bad. Igor was not a child. 
Hey, Yuri's daughter was eaten by one, huh? No one knows what happened to Tanya. Tanya. You cannot say she was eaten. What else could have happened? I mean, we have the werewolf that did... It'll break out of your little trick-or-treat jail and eat us all. Hans, not one word about Tanya eaten by a werewolf will you make to Yuri. He and Bella have been hurt too deeply. As you are a man, uh... do not open the wounds again. Well, I'll tell you what, you suit yourself, pal. But at least they can be avenged now upon the werewolf! The grave digger's missing! I mean, we looked everywhere. He's usually under my wife's bed. We even tried to talk to that quack Dr. Cranium. That ridiculous doorbell! At first, we thought he might be lost. Then we found the gypsy. The gypsy did it. He toasted Igor. Yeah, and then he ate him. Check his breath. It smells like Igor. Poor Igor. <laughs> so much going on. Uh... I'm telling you, gypsies are werewolves. Yeah, gypsies are all tramps and thieves. Isn't that gypsies a very cool thing to say? Be trusted. I think we're fixing to have one less gypsy around here. Oh goodness, nineties. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Toby. A gypsy was found right outside the town gates. We brought him here for questioning. Why don't you have a bake sale, pal, and send away for a clue? Everyone knows that gypsies are werewolves! Yeah, little Igor was somebody's Big Mac, and you want us to just go home? That werewolf is a danger to us all. Think of our families. And our mistresses. It's a mild Do you think I would endanger the town by allowing him to escape? The gypsy is securely locked up. He will not get away. Uh, werewolves. Werewolves are mere peasant tales. You want to see a peasant tale, pal? Look, we all know that werewolves are real. Yeah, I saw the movie. They turn into wolves by the full moon. They are harmed only by silver in wolf form. They're allergic to wolf's bane. There's a poem about it, okay? Even a man who's pure in heart. And says his prayers by night. Enough! Enough! It is all hearsay and speculation. May become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms. Oh, that's beautiful. And the autumn moon is bright. Or so the charming legend says. Huh. <laughs> What's going on? I like that one. The gravedigger was missing last night. And we matriculated on down to the cemetery to search, see? Yeah, but we didn't have far to go. Just outside town, we caught ourselves a werewolf. Yeah, but we found no trace of poor old Igor. Mm. Enough! Igor is missing. We do not know what happened to him. It is none of your... Perfect. The grave digger Igor's been killed. And we captured a werewolf! Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. I think that's go the line home. that we heard. Just go home, all of you. You do not know the truth yet. <laughs> We're gonna make the little gypsy tell the truth, don't you worry. Yeah, let's see how much lying he does after we take his teeth out by hand. Dimitri, dude, listen, we... Dude. No, you listen, all of you. There is nothing to be done until we know all the facts. Now go home and let me do my job, please. 
Okay, so I guess we should visit the cell. Uh, uh, uh. The grave digger is missing, and the gypsy just happened to be near the front gate when we were searching for Igor. He is suspected of being a werewolf and of having eaten Igor. Okay. I. Big doubt, but oh, we'll talk. Hello. Ah, that's you. Not Gaston. Uh. The gypsy looks at you with disdain. Oh, we're not going to talk, are we? The gypsy spits in your general direction. The gypsy glares at you in... Okay, that's fair. I'd be pretty peeved too. What if I gave you... Some garlic. That didn't do it. Bye. It is possible that the gravedigger is still alive. If you are going wandering outside of town, please watch for him. Calm down, everyone. Give me a little more time. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, Gandhi, but we have waited long enough. Yeah, he's right. I got first dibs. That gypsy's gonna pay. That gypsy's gonna make Joan of Arc look like a piker. He's gonna burn at the stake. Yes, yes. If I cannot find out what happened to Igor before tomorrow, you shall have your burning. We're just gonna mosey on out of town. Uh, I guess we could probably talk to the scientist too. I feel like these are getting more complicated. <laughs> It's me again, your science friend. Ah, you're just in time to witness a magnificent scientific experiment. I have managed to harness the very primal force of lightning at my back and call. Now I shall use it to create life itself. Watch this. That was not quite the experimental result I expected. Uh, but never mind that. It is merely a momentary setback in the annals of science. I shall readjust the magnetic electrical stimulation system and try again another day. Okay, good luck. Mm, perhaps I should wait a day or two before resuming my Frankie experiment. It is very important that the right person stay in charge here. Ah, uh, oh, wait. Fun? Maybe? Oh, hello. You are a most persistent visitor. If you chose to devote this much energy to the pursuit of scientific knowledge, you could make tremendous progress in solving the great questions of our age. Could it be? Has Dr. Cranium at last succeeded in the ancient dream of bringing back life to the we dead? We need, like, water. Haven't we gotten water in a flask in, like, three different games now? Dr. Cranium looks considerably more like a demented wizard or mad scientist than a real scientist. Despite his white hair, you suspect that he's no more than middle-aged. He also seems to have developed a significant paunch. Root beer belly, no doubt. Judgy. Uh, oh my gosh, there's lots of things we can ask about. I get Antwerp's lightning, 
and life force. Antwerps are truly fascinating species. They reproduce by splitting into a number of tiny Antwerps, each with their own genetic code. They cannot split voluntarily, however. They only reproduce when cut or stabbed. My test Antwerps came from Spielberg Valley, where there was an Antwerp population explosion last spring. Oh. Probably no, re no reason for that. We didn't hurt it, I don't think, in the final save. I have come to the conclusion that lightning is electrical in nature, which would mm. put it in the realm of fire. Fortunately, there have been an increasing number of storms here lately, so I have been able to harness some of the lightning and store it for experimental use. I am convinced that the primal force of life is electrical in nature. Of course, it must also involve water for life, and pizza, without which life would be boring. <laughs> I need pizza and water, probably. <laughs> Don't know where we're gonna get... Pizza. Of course, the real process of science is exciting only to those initiated into its greater mysteries. You should seek out knowledge wherever you can find it. Okay. How are you doing, Nikolai? Yes, well, I... I keep looking for Anna. Will you help me find her? She's missing. Anna has been gone for a long time. I have been looking for her for, for so, so very long. I, I do not know what has become of my Anna. Right here. I mean, maybe if you looked, if you branched out a, a little bit more. I mean, I guess they say it's good to, like, stay in one spot if you get lost or whatever, right? So people will know where to find you, but... Call. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard? Igor the Grave Digger is missing! They say the gypsy did it. <laughs> we may have a werewolf on a stake soon. Uh. Mm. Yeah, my sad departed husband. How's Boris? What? Who's Yuri? Oh, the inn. That's been the end. Okay. Let's get more trail rations since we gave one away for the Antwerps. And I guess that's it, because we're not getting pizza. Pizza? Rumors? Pizza rumors? What would you like to know about? Oh, goodness. Everything? Yuri! Hasn't been the same since his daughter was stolen away two years ago. Gypsies took her, I told him so. <laughs> Never listened to me, though. He's not doing much business at the inn, either. Except for those lazy excuses for farmers that hang out here. And an occasional visitor. He'd go broke. The Borgovs used to live in the castle north of town. The last Borgov was said to have disappeared under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> However, no one seems to know just what happened to him. Ah, vampires, is it? There's talk that those strangers up in Castle Borgov are never seen by day and can't abide the smell of good old garlic. If you are going to do any wandering outside town, make certain you have some garlic nice. with you. Just in case. I don't want to have garlic on me. Igor didn't return to town the other night. The gypsy was right outside town. I don't know how I'll sleep with a beast so close. We should burn as quickly as possible. And I told the meat that. Otherwise... Who knows what will happen when that gypsy gets loose? We'll all be eaten! 
you know, old it has been years. Oh, they were so Well Thanks, but see you later. <laughs> As my Let's go ahead Ooh, uh, towards either the cemetery or the castle or the camp. We have feels like we have options. I want that. Alright, let's bust out our map, shall we? Okay. Well, castle's the closest, so maybe we'll pop over there first. See if anything's different. Welcome again to the gates of the castle, Borgov. I hope that you've been enjoying your visit to Mordavia. Oh, yes. Wife? Why, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I have no wife. I do not know if anyone at the castle is named Katrina. My house is just inside the Why gate, are we even asking about a Katrina? I seldom see anyone from the castle. Since the last boyar passed away many years ago, the castle has been uninhabited until recently. Now it is owned by the master, who is also my employer. It is not a bad job. I am paid well and on time. I am very sorry, but I... The master seldom leaves the castle and... Okay. Maybe we gotta get permission. Ah. Good luck, and may you... So we're gonna go check out the camp, I guess, first. Maybe we'll crank up the speed a little bit. So there's the towns so we need to go down one. Good times. Hello. Again? <laughs> Hello. Two and two and two make six. A little bush is in a fix. If you save a plant from goo, I can help you with a clue. We have a plant from goo. Oh, but I don't have it with me. Wait, let me go get it. Let me, I go get it. Hold on. Oh, I went down too far. And I can't go up on this screen? Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Oh, nuts. That's so silly. There is ep I gotta grab, I gotta grab my tree, my tree, goo tree. Every time you guys need to get a hobby. You 
one. Goo tree. My cursor is like way farther to the left than my mouse on my desktop, so it's wonky. Uh, down one, and then to the right. The same pattern. <laughs> Seeming like it. Two and two. Yes. Wait, but I, I have it. It really. No. Do I have to? Here. Nothing. I'm gonna do this one. Nothing. No. I have no. the tree. No. What? The bush looks a little. You save a plant from. Well, we have it. I don't know what he wants from us. Almost there. Oh my god. We're so close. gains do we actually get from that? Check one up? Oh, maybe because we used the dagger spell. Cool. Wait, is our honor going down or? <laughs> honor 203. I feel like that was one that was different. The response is a low growl. The wolf growl. This is a barrel roll. One of the wolves snarls menacingly. I you get mean, a yeah, that you're not that's welcome here. probably it true. Touch this one. Not anything for the wolf. So I guess we're gonna go back to the cemetery. No. That's right. I tried to be fast. <laughs> I 
Hey, we didn't die. The wyvern has no place to carry treasure. Hmm. Hello. You hear a monstrous groaning noise from beneath the fallen tombstone. Perhaps a horrible monster waits below. Or... This headstone doesn't... Uh, Igor could be fine. You fail to budge the heavy gravestone. It will take more strength than you've got to move this. Or better leverage. Better leverage. You didn't... The door... Don't believe that your daddy, Igor. I believe we're gonna find you. The crypt somewhere. <laughs>